guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are turning into a bad bitch Pennywise. Obviously, the new It film is out, It 2. The first It film, not the original, the first remake, I love. I think it's great. I think it's truly terrifying. And obviously, it's a huge trend for makeup, especially for Halloween. So I thought that I would do my own little twist on Pennywise. We're gonna do Mrs. Pennywise. I'm just celebrating getting married all year, okay? If I sound ill, it's because I am ill. But Halloween waits for no woman. So here we are. So if I'm a bit, it's because I'm delirious. And if I start sweating, it's because I have a fever. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna do our brows and our eyes and then we'll do the base, okay? You might notice that I'm beautiful today. Uh, what I've done is I've got so much hair, I have just put it in two pigtails pleated the pigtails and then wrapped them around my head and put a couple of wig caps on. Now this is gonna look a bit mad to start with, but we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna use my favorite NARS concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in the shade Chantilly, so pale, but we're gonna be paling ourselves right down for today's look. Oh my God, that's horrific. I am just blocking out the color of my eyebrows. When you block out your brows with a kind of light colored concealer, it gives you the option to kind of make your brows whatever color you want. And I'm gonna go for a red brow. Um, and like I said, we're not doing your classic Pennywise, we're doing Mrs. Pennywise, we're doing glam Pennywise, basically. Okay, so I've just brushed that through. You can obviously still see my brows, that's fine. But the color is a lot lighter. I'm just going over that with a wee sponge just to make sure there's no chunky bits of concealer. Um, and the palette that I'm going to be mostly using today, there's two palettes here. I have the Beauty Bay Me, Myself and Mitchell palette, gorgeous. And I also have the Urban Decay Naked Smoky because I needed cool tones for my eyes. We're not doing a warm brown today, no sir. I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Double Ended Brow Brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Man Made, which is just a really, really warm brown. There it is right there. Because I think the red actually will just be too stark. It'll just look like a cartoon. So we're gonna go in with a warm brown. Yeah, that's better. Uh, we almost want our brows to look more kind of gingery. And I'm just whacking on the powder because I'm gonna clean up the brow with a little bit of concealer afterwards. And again, the concealer on the brow before we even started, it just gives us more freedom because my brow would never go that color. If I was just to put eyeshadow on top of my eyebrow, it would just look like my brows like normal. So it just gives us a good starting point. And also I'm not gonna make my brows too thick. If you wanted to, you could have gone with the whole blocked out brows thing. <laughs> If you've watched my first Halloween tutorial this year, you will see that I am not amazing at that. So I just thought for glam Pennywise, Madame Pennywise, we would go for more of a kind of glam look. This makeup's actually gonna be so easy and it's all stuff that you'll already have. And I'll show you, I actually got a wig and an outfit for this look as well, which just makes it super easy. It's just a couple of things you need to get, but I think it'll be quite cool. So I'm just using the side of the brush to bring that product forward. And blend it. I'm not worried about making a mess at all because I'm just going to clean it all up. So they obviously are a lot lighter than my usual brows but that's what we want. I am going to go in with the Benefit Gummy Brow Plus in the shade number five just to coat the hairs again. Do the usual, it'll keep the hairs exactly where we want them and it does just add a little bit more depth to the brow. And then I'm going to go in with the NARS concealer again on the back of my hand. I'm going to dip into my usual little concealer brush. This brush is nearly dead, but I love it so much. It's my little Smith one. And I've actually used scissors to cut away the frayed parts because I've had this for so long. Okay, so we're going to carve out these brows. Just like so. And I'm actually going to use this concealer as my eyeshadow primer as well. I'm gonna go in with that concealer and a buffing brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and it's gonna look super light and creepy but I am gonna be lightening up my whole base. Whoa, I look even more unwell <laughs> when I've done that. For the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the shade 13 in the Naked Palette and I'm just gonna do a really nice glam Cool tone smoky eye. That's pretty much what we're doing. In the movies, Pennywise obviously doesn't wear really makeup. He wears, oh my god, that was the biggest lie ever. He wears so much awful makeup. What I mean to say is he doesn't really wear obviously glam eyeshadow. He wears kind of eyeliner right around his eyes and it's all smudged and scary and spooky. So I'm just gonna do a super glam, cool tone smoky eye with a bit of liner. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Password. 
and a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to start buffing that into the crease. And I'm just doing my usual blending. It's super easy just because it's the exact same as your day to day makeup and then you kind of funk it up a little bit later. I'm just going in with the same colour. I've only used the shade Password and a little bit of Combust. Just building up those colours, making sure that it's nice and matte. Obviously, I say this every time, but you really want your makeup to be lasting all night if you're going out for Halloween or all day. I remember when I worked on makeup counters, I would do my makeup in the morning and then go to work all day with a Halloween look on. And I can't tell you, I used to get the weirdest looks because I would use public transport, obviously. So I'd get on the train in the morning with a full skull makeup in the middle of rush hour and it would just stare at me. I think that's the darkest matte shade in that palette. So I'm going to go back to Mitchell's palette and go in with the shade Monday, which is this really cool toned brown and a little dip of black as well, which is called Mafia, just to get the outer corners nice and smoky. And I'm going in with my fave brush, my M506 by Morphe. See the difference that makes? Just a little touch on the outer corner, almost like it's coming from the lash. I'm just going in with those two shades on my big fluffy brush, just a tiny little bit, just to bring those colours into the smoky eye a little bit. I'm going to go back in with the shade 13, the lightest shade in the Naked palette, and I'm just going to really pack that on all over the lid because I think I'm going to stick with it being matte. And once it's packed on, you can kind of use little wiggle movements just to make sure it's all blended and all buffed right into that base so it's not going to crease. I'm just packing on a little bit more shadow because I think it's a bit late and it started to crease a little bit. But I'm just going in and blending and packing it on and blending until it goes away. From here, I'm actually going to do my mascara and my lashes. So I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. On the top lashes right now, we're going to do the bottom later. I actually wore these lashes yesterday, but this is one of my new favourite things. These are the Tati Lashes in TL4, and I actually completely cut them in half. And I'm just going to use them as half lashes on the very edge of my eye, and it totally elongates the eye, and it's, it's quite like a doe-eyed look. I think it's a really nice way to wear kind of bigger lashes. We're going to just put my glue on these. Do you know what's funny? I never I never used to do cool toned eyeshadow, but I really like it. While we're waiting for the lashes to dry, I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty How Many Carrots Highlighter. This is more of a kind of glitter. It's actually so used. I love it so much. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that on the brow as my highlight for my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my NARS concealer, the light concealer, a big brush. This is the P. Louise eyeshadow base brush. And I'm just gonna carve out the top of my brows, just like so, super roughly. And I'm gonna go in between my brows as well. This is just so when I do my foundation, I don't really need to go close to my brows or my eye makeup. And I'm just gonna pop these little lashes on. And I literally just stick them to the very end of my eye. Do you know? Okay, lashes are on. So I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to do the kind of base. So you can see our eyes are nice and smoky. It's quite a soft glam at the moment. I'm going to just chuck a little bit of my Herborean Bamboo Matte Primer just in the centre of my skin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new MAC stick foundation. This is the Studio Fix Soft Matte Stick Foundation. And I'm actually going to use the shade NW18, which is a little bit too light for me and a little bit pink for me. But we do want to kind of... It's not that light. This all over, and I'm going to do quite a lot of it, but I really love this foundation. It's so easy to use and it's a really nice coverage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, you guys are going to be shook. Illamasqua Skin Base 01, this is a white foundation. I've not used this in so long. It's absolutely out of date, but I used to use this all the time for my Halloween makeups. I have not seen this in a long time, but I'm excited. So it's a white foundation. It's a really amazing foundation. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the white and mix it in with my stick just to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm gonna use the light concealer as my highlight. So it's gonna look super pale. With this look, I didn't wanna go completely white with the base. I just think it looks a bit nuts unless you're painting your whole body, but paling it down is absolutely fine. 
Hmm, I am actually looking a bit wild anyway. I'm gonna just go in with more of the stick foundation. Yeah, let's just stick with that base. Patch the Illamasqua, I think that's out of date. Like proper out of date. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna highlight with my NARS concealer, which is gonna be super pale. And I'm gonna do quite a lot. So I'm also gonna use this for coverage. And I'm actually just gonna go in with a sponge. Yeah, it's better. Blend that concealer into the base and that's actually fixing what the Illamasqua Skin Base did. I just think it's really, it was separating on my face a lot and that never happened. Okay, so I'm really pale and I'm gonna leave it so it just stops here and my body's normal because if you look at clowns, that's actually what quite a lot of them do. They don't paint their whole bodies, they just paint their faces. I am actually gonna warm up the face slightly, so I'm gonna use my Nude Sticks Nudies in Bondi Bay, which is just a really nice contour, and it's also not too warm, so it'll be good for contouring this base without it looking orange. I'm gonna do my head as well. It's gonna look pretty theatrical by the end of it, but it's Halloween, bitch. Enjoy yourself. I'm just gonna blend that in with my Smith 115. 115. And then I'm gonna go in with Original Hula, not Hula Caramel. This is the original, so it's a bit lighter. And we're gonna set that. And I'm not using any blusher today. I just want it to be quite a strong contour. So at this stage, we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercy Translucent Powder, and I'm gonna use a sponge. Plenty of that underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna do the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna go underneath my contour, because I want it super sharp and nice and high. I'm gonna use a little bit of hula just around my jaw, or their lack of. And you can also use a little bit of the lip powder just to mattify the other areas that we've not powdered yet. I'm going to just quickly set that, marry all the powders together with the setting spray. Just use an all nighter setting spray. And then as usual, my little tip is when the skin is still a little bit damp from the setting spray, go in with your highlighter. And I'm going to go in with the How Many Carrots by Fenty again. It's more kind of like a white glitter, so it's a little bit more suited for Halloween, I think. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this sleek highlighter as well. This is called Solstice Equinox. A wee dust on top, there we go. Now I'm gonna go in with one of the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliners. This is just the black one, and I'm gonna sketch this underneath my eye, and then we're gonna buff it out with some shadow. So it's just gonna be a really nice, Smoky, smoky under eye. And I'm gonna buff that out with the color Password from the Smoky palette, which is the first shade we use. And I'm gonna really smoke that out. And you can see the difference. It makes your eyes look so much bigger and it just makes it look really like a lot more dramatic as well. Same on the other eye. Just underneath the lash just now. Whoa, those pencils are really not moving. I'm just gonna end with a wee bit of black on the outer, outer corner on the under eye. We're getting somewhere. Now we're at this step, I'm gonna do my bottom mascara and then we're gonna start getting funky. Cause right now I just look like a really pale version of myself with kind of ready eyebrows. I'm gonna quickly contour my nose with the shade Password, which um, is the first color that I used. I'm literally just gonna bring it from the kind of smoky inner corner and bring it down the nose. And you can also go in with your bronzer and just soften it out. I've got a reference picture here and it's of original It, most recent It. And I'm gonna do a red nose. So I actually like it when it's just kind of straight across, quite sassy. I'm gonna use a lip liner to draw out my shape, just in a kind of lighter color. And then I'm gonna go in with a lip brush and a liquid lipstick to do the red nose. So I'm gonna go straight across. Tell you what's fun, cleaning costume makeup off my nose ring. <laughs> Not. So we've done that, super easy. And I'm just gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. The red color I'm gonna use is Don't Stop by NARS, one of my favorite ever red lipsticks. I'm actually just applying straight from the bullet. Get it on. Okay, I actually managed that completely just with this. <laughs> 
I didn't need to clean it up. We'll see what happens later. Next step is going to be the lips and the shape that goes through the brow. So for the lips, I'm actually going to overdraw them to another level, okay? We've never done this before. And it's somewhat inspired by all the new filters that are on Instagram. You know, the big plush lips in the middle, I just think that they're super doll-like. So I'm going to overdraw my lips. In the center, I'm going to use a lip liner. The lip liner I'm using is the Dose of Colours Lip Liner in Snappy, by the way. These are great. I'm going to fill in that lip and we're going to start with this and then we're going to draw it up. For the kind of shape, because I'm going to extend my smile as well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brow pencil. This is my precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. And I'm just going to sketch out the shape because it's not just straight up. It's like... Okay, so it kind of goes out oh good job and then it goes through the pupil and then up so once we've done those lines again just kind of rough lines i'm looking and in the film the lines are pretty solid but i'm a bad bitch so i think what i'm going to do is my own thing i'm going to do them in red i'm going to extend my smile let's just see where my creative flow goes I'm going to go in with this and a lip brush, an artiste's brush, if you will. I've got a tiny little baby brush. This is the MAC 210 brush. I'm just going to go in with my product and let's try this. I feel like I have the least steady hand. Okay, not bad, not bad. I hope my mum gets scared. She's coming up today. I hope she sees me and gets a fright. Not terrible, not fab. Let me just fix this. I'm going to do the little points above my eyebrow. And I'm just kind of slightly extending the smile from the top lip. Don't kill me. I'm going to take these lashes off and do a winged liner just because I think, you know, I want to be a little bit more bad bitch than I am right now. I think it looks okay, but I think a wing would just kind of sass it up a little bit. So, woo! And let's add some wings. I'm going to use the Benefit roller liner in the shade black. I always use the brown one. Loads of you guys ask me what brown liner I use and it's this in brown. Oh yeah, straight away. I'm so glad I did that. If this video teaches you anything, it's to trust your gut. And I'm also gonna do a beauty spot, I can tell. Okay, yeah, I'm much happier with that. And yeah, I think I'll just stick the same lashes back on. Okay, lashes are glued up. Let's add this little beauty mark. Let's add one here and my usual freckle. I still feel like I need to just clean up my lines. So I'm gonna do that while I wait for my lashes to dry. So this part takes a little bit of time, but other than that, it's actually a really easy makeup, I think. Okay, pop these lashes on. And they actually go with super dramatic looks or nice natural looks. It's at this stage where I'm going to go and try and put some contacts in. Wish me luck. Uh, if I'm back with them in, great. If not, let's not talk about it. Oh my God. We're adjusting. We're currently adjusting. Can I see? No. This is the time of year where it's actually probably good if you're a contacts wearer. But I am not used to foreign objects in my freaking eyeballs. But I'm going to try and keep it together because it really does finish off the look. It's terrifying. The next exciting thing I have is this bad boy. All the stuff I got for this outfit was off of Amazon. But look how cool that is. So I'm just going to tie this like so. This was super cheap on Amazon. Whoa, my eyes are scary. And some people might say that it's probably better if you put your contacts in before. I actually think it's better for me after because I can't really see that well. And then we have a wig. I went for our super chic little bob. So let's see if this, this goes on, right? I just need to pull it a little bit. My head's really big. I want to go for a super snazzy little short bob. This wig is also from Amazon, but it's a lace front. So look, see if you look, it's actually great. And I'm not gluing it down or anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna stick it down. I'm literally just gonna rest it atop my head. And you just need to play around with it a little bit. I think this is meant to be more of a middle shed, but this is exactly how this wig came. I've not done anything to it. All I did was cut 
the lace at the front. I'm really sad, I forgot about these. I bought little red pom-poms and what I was gonna do is attach this to there, but I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna leave it. You could also do that, you know how, boop, boop, boop. If you're a DIY expert, which I'm not, buy some pom-poms, attach them somewhere. There you go, and you can see I've got a little bandeau top on. It's actually, it's actually quite a sweet little top. It's just from Boohoo, so I'll tag that below as well. And I'll tag my collar, because this, I just think this is genius. I'll use this for loads of different types of looks. And that, you guys, is the finished look. I hope you really liked it. I hope you can see it, because I can't see you. <laughs> I think that this look, see if you don't have anything planned, this look is super simple. You don't really need anything. The wig is really cheap from Amazon, and it's actually great. If I turn around, you can see the back. It just sits like nice and I've got so much hair and it kind of, it's all fit underneath fine. And obviously this little collar is super cheap as well. So let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh God, I don't have any brushes ready. I'm just not ready for this today. I don't think I'll be able to do his accent. Georgie. We all float down here. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Ugh. Ah! It just broke, right, and it's in my top. And I'm gonna start doing my brows. I'm so sweating. Ilma, I'm with, I thought I wasn't filming there, nearly gave birth to myself. I'm really glad that camera's not any further down because my nipple was out the whole time there. And let's add some wings. So I'm gonna use the Bella, the Bella fade, the underneath of my brow. I just shut that mirror again. Do you know how hard it is to do this when you I think I need to now thicken up the top. <laughs> I wanted to go for a super, super. Is it worth it? Ah! I just put that all over myself. Mr. Pennywise, where are my children? I am famished. I'm terrified.